Hello and welcome to the Katie Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. And joining me right here today is Brad from the Black Widow Conspiracy. Brad, how are you? How you doing, Caden? And how are you all doing out there in Radio Land? And I just knocked my camera. Apologies for that. <laughs> how are you all doing? I am doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. How are you? Oh, we're doing wonderfully. Uh, I don't know if it's been reported in Australia, but we've just survived some apocalyptic weather, so we're now enjoying the sun and getting all our laundry dry. Well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear that you guys are finally getting sun. I knew a little bit about that. I didn't know much about it, but I knew a little bit of it just from interviewing people like you guys down there, so I knew about it. So Yeah, it's been pretty, pretty dastardly. I must admit, I've never seen rain like it, but uh we're just thanking 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 whoever might be out there that it's over <laughs> yeah <laughs> so kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and how you kind of developed the black widow conspiracy uh well i've been actually a musician in australia for about 30 years now i've i, I unfortunately never I, I got close but i never broke the big time but i did uh manage to carve out a bit of a successful living uh touring australia and uh not not too many years ago, I had some health issues that have prevented me from touring again. And I had all these songs like just on the shelf, just going to waste. So I thought, well, you know what? I'll just form my own little project and hopefully get the songs out there through a new medium. And the initial idea for the Black Widow Conspiracy was to have an all female band. Uh, and, that, and that initially started in 2019, but then COVID hit which just put the kibosh on that. Uh, it was all over after that. And then uh, during the lockdowns, we, we had an extended lockdown here in Australia. And, and I've come to realise that touring, having bands is suddenly starting to become a thing of the past, especially in this country. So I thought to myself, how could I make, release these songs out to the public without forming, technically forming a new band? And I was working with uh, Camilla, a guitarist in Brazil, and it just clicked on me one day. Well, we're all in lockdown. We, all, we can't tour. We can't rehearse. So why not we just take these songs and form, just record them for online, for movies and things. And that's how the online band initiative was born. And we thought, well, why don't we just have anyone who wants to record an al album online and have their, have their uh, style and their talent showcased through a professional recording they can just come record with us and what we've got a we've got a 10 song album currently in the loop uh we are hoping to go to 12 and uh, 12 songs and i've got another two albums at least of songs after that mm. and if people want their songs recorded we'll record it for you and you'll have a professional band recording your demo and Apart, aside from production costs, we're, we're all pretty much doing it for nothing. So, because <laughs> we just love the music and the songs are too good to go to waste. So, here we are. Well, that's wonderful. I love that the fact that you guys are actually brainstorming and use the pandemic for a good thing. And it's one of those things where I think it's, you know, super important for people who do not have a studio or something that they could go to during the pandemic that you guys were providing that for them. So I think that's awesome. Well, our debut single, this ain't no love song was purely recorded, uh, in, in lockdown. No one was in anyone's house. No one was in any studio. We recorded our parts to a click track, put it together. And now we have our debut single and we're doing the, we're pretty much doing the same thing with our next single. We've got, a, we've got a number of people, some from the UK, some from Brazil, some from Australia. Uh, we've already had some people from the US join us on, a, on our last single. Uh, basically, we hope that, you know, all YouTubers, all musicians, you want to record a song, you come join us. We, a, a, anyone can be a member of the Black Widow Conspiracy. That's, that's the beauty of it being a global band initiative. And hell, if, like, I don't even mind adjusting my songs to to add let's say i have three guitarists all want to record one song well hell i'll adjust it we'll make it sound like iron maiden uh with the three song harmony structure if you've got a country song uh we've got a few a few uh acoustic songs coming through at the moment if you want to got a, an acoustic country song or a grunge song we'll record that too uh we, we don't care what genre we actually just wrote our first pop song 
So um, it's still in the demo phase. And unfortunately, we, we're still using heavy guitar sounds. But uh, overall, we're actually quite happy with it. And we're, we're going to try and expand more into the pop genre so we can actually provide songs for all soundtracks, not just your, your classic horror or action films. I mean, we'd love to have a song in a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you never know. You never know. So it's, you know, and I, I myself with my current health issues, I can no longer physically go on tour. So this is a way for me to, for three things, me to retire, <laughs> mm. uh, me to get all these great songs out there and also me to have, try and keep working mainly as a songwriter in the music industry. So I can write a song or I can co-write a song with one of our contributors I, I try to sell that to a movie soundtrack or a game soundtrack or even as a wrestling entrance theme and everyone gets experience out of it. And I, I'm not looking, I'm not really looking for that much money. I just want to have a steady income. So aside from production costs, we're not really charging anyone anything. And if a song goes well, you can start making money from it too. It's, it's just a, just, it's just, an all-inclusive, everyone come and let's jam type of band. I think that's amazing that you're actually taking the time to do that. So if people want to find out a little bit more about what you guys do or anything like that, where can they find you online? Uh, they can find us. Uh, we're still expanding our social media accounts. Well, you can find us pretty... Uh, we, we do a lot on Twitter, uh, YouTube, and we're currently on SoundCloud. We've just joined Band Mix. Hopefully, we will be on Reverb Nation by the end of the month. Uh, the only place you won't find us is probably Facebook because we're actually avoiding Facebook. Uh, so, and we're actually, I think, what's the other one? Uh, we're starting an Instagram account very soon. So, uh, but oh crap! But right now, just knocking everything over. But right now, you can find us on Twitter and uh, YouTube and SoundCloud. That's awesome. And for people who might want to do this, um, what do you uh, have to offer for them? Like, you know, what does the cost look like? Is it going to be like, you know, for people who do not have like a lot of money, will they be able to work with you guys? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, a lot of the, uh, in fact, a lot of the original material that I've specifically written, written, sorry, uh, I, I I try to get some type of payment to the musicians that I work with uh, in regards to recording perhaps their own song. I think, uh, okay, well, the production cost for our single was $880. Okay. So if you've got $880 in a song, we'll do it for you. No dramas. We don't expect any excess money. We are hoping to make our money through sales and through online content. So we're not interested in really charging anyone. Uh, in fact, if you're working on my material, you could get a payment yourself. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm offering, uh, I just paid someone in the UK 150, 150 pounds to produce a piano line for us. And our next single will actually have piano in it. When before this project came about, I would never have considered piano, but now we're, we're having all these musicians hit us up, hopefully, you know, to work with us. And I'm just getting these influx of ideas and creativity that I, I didn't even think was possible. And now I have a piano on my rock song and it's like, wow, it sounds like Guns N' Roses now, like use your illusion style. And it changed the entire dynamic. Uh, Emily Dimes, our current piano player, she's great and she's written some great lines and you know, I hope to get everyone in. I hope to get violinists, saxophonists. There's no, there's no limit. You want to contribute? Come on in. Where the doors are, the doors are open to the Black Widow conspiracy. That is just great. So, um, let me ask you: Where do you see the Black Widow conspiracy in like the next five to ten years? Well, to be honest, I'm hoping we become a major player in providing music for soundtracks. Uh, I'm not thinking score. I should just point that out. I'm thinking more specific songs that can be released as singles to promote the film. Uh, so we hope to become a major player in Hollywood when it comes to that. Also, we've got a footing in with the wrestling community. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, our song is currently the theme song for Hardcore Women of Wrestling's first ever pay-per-view in Dallas. And we're hoping to become a steady supplier of themes, interest themes and pay-per-view themes to the wrestling community. And that's not even counting the music side of it. You know, hopefully we can get our singles distributed and make a, a solid amount of money. That's wonderful. Is there anything that I forgot that you would like to share about what you do on the show today? Uh, no, I think we've pretty much covered it. Uh, there is hope. I, I will admit there is hope for a live lineup one day. Uh, just to do one-off shows uh, or even just one massive show where we bring everyone in, you know, and anyone who wants to come and who's contributed and wants to come and do the show, they can come do the show. Uh, but that's a long way off. Uh, aside from that, we, we've pretty much covered everything. Yes, uh, you've got the Black Widow conspiracy down, I think. All right, wonderful. Well, I would like to thank Brad from the Black Widow conspiracy for coming on and telling everyone a little bit about what he does and i hope you guys will uh consider working with him he sounds like an amazing person and you know it's nice to meet you today really all right thank you very much sorry for the few camera issues here uh, and also thank you out there in radio land and we look forward to hopefully playing to you all one day once all this covid madness is gone <laughs>